You're the best they will ever have. Perhaps they've realized it by now. If they haven't, they will realize someday that they can never find someone like you. Someone who loved them so much. Someone who was 100% dedicated to them. Someone who wanted to make it work. Someone like you who was all about them. Had they been true, you would still be with them today. Had they been true, the relationship would have worked out. You wouldn't have worked out on them. You would have given them everything. Somebody like you is rare. Someone as genuine Someone with so much loving kindness. But you cared about them so much and they took you for granted. Very often this happens. Very often people prefer to be with people who will disrespect them or who are not who are not totally dedicated to them. They want it to be difficult. You and your love. You, the kind person you are, who gave so much to them. Who gave them so much love, so much respect, who even gave them Material things, including money, they took you for granted. They are ungrateful. More and more, they will realize that they will never find someone like you. You see, it is not every day that you win the lottery. It is not every day that you're lucky to win a grand prize. You were the grand prize. You were the lottery. I heard that somebody just won a billion dollars, is it? In the lottery? You were that, or lottery for some. <laughs> you were that. And they took you for granted. They took you for granted. They cheated you with disdain. They even cheated on you. You're there wondering where they are. And every time you talk to them about it, they're saying you're insecure. But what is there to feel secure about? People love to use this term, oh, somebody's insecure. But you're giving them reasons. You're not true. You're not loyal. You're not faithful. What do you expect? Do you take them for a fool? Do they think you were a fool or you are a fool? To put up with the nonsense. To put up with the fact that they're not there for you 100%. They think they can be one foot, one foot in, one foot out with you. That is what they thought. And you would have just accepted it. That they could have been all over the place, dating whoever, sleeping with whoever, not spending the time with you, making excuses, Pretending to be one thing, they're not. You see, at first you thought they were all that. 
At first it was beautiful. At first they made you think that they were that perfect partner. They told you certain things. You thought, wow, I found a treasure. It was not a treasure. You were that treasure that they found. But because of their lack of gratitude, they lost you. And because they are somebody who is ungrateful, they are somebody who is not able to appreciate a good thing, they will never find someone as great and as wonderful as you. You see, when you are offering a vibration, that vibration can and will be matched. And even if they meet somebody, it will not last. Just like it did not last with you, it ended. They are not a vibrational match for such, for such love for such loving kindness they are not they are match for a different kind of person who will not be true to them and if you observe their life even while you're not with them you will realize who they're dealing with even when they were with you the type of person they're dealing with some people want to have their cake and eat it. On one hand, they want a good person. They say that. On another hand, they're dealing with, quote-unquote, a bad person, to use simple words. Then they're searching for you. They are there searching for you in others. They want what you provided back then. They want it. They're looking for you. They're searching for you in others. They're going to date from date to date searching for you. Thinking that it's so easy to find you. That is what they thought at first. When they had you, they took you for granted because they thought that, oh, I found him, I can find another like him. I found her, I can find another like her easily. That is what they thought. And that is why they treated you with so much disdain, so much scorn, contempt. They took it for granted. They took you for granted. I got a leaf or a branch for. We're in nature. Click the like button, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Advancing man, advancing woman. Stay here with me. We're having fun. We're discussing. How about that? So they took you for granted. And now they're searching for your love in another. But what they will realize is that, is that there is only one like you. They cannot find you again. They cannot find someone like you again. Someone as unique as you again. And you are the best they will ever have you are the best they will ever have you were the treasure you were so much better off than them you are trying to help them along the way but they took you for granted and because of that, they can't find love, they can't find joy, they can't find peace. Karma is hitting them like a ton of bricks. They are paying the price for what they did to you. You who were so good to them, they mistreated you, they were unfaithful. All those sleepless nights, you wondering where they are. They think they can do whatever they want. They're in a relationship with you. They think they can do whatever they want. Go out with whoever they want. Go to party after party. Do whatever. While you're home. They were not on your level. They were not on your level. 
more and more they're realizing that and they will lie they will make up stories they will fabricate stuff so people can think that they're living this wonderful life that they're fine that everything is working out for them false pretense but at night they're crying they're feeling miserable they found someone new that person is not treating them well that person is insulting them it's not working they're always fighting it's not working they're thinking of you they're missing your love they're missing your light the chosen one that you are the advancing one that you are they're missing you wishing that they could turn back the hands of time wishing that they could still be with you if they only knew they would have treated you better but it's too late too late is their cry they should have treated you better they should have respected you I said you're the best they will ever have you're the best they ever had and then years will go by after they took you for granted you've already moved on with your life you have a happy relationship they're regretting what if I should have if only I had done this they're regretting too late you've already moved on life is wonderful for you too late they get older people are married all over the place well their friends some of their friends well people probably they went to school with are married in happy relationships they're not they're ready to settle down now it's too late it's too late too late when they take you for granted when they disrespect you like that this is what happens they are reaping what they sowed you reap what you sow the law of cause and, e cause and effect the law of karma understand karma no debt in the universe goes unpaid and they did so much to you you're there feeling sad feeling depressed day after day trying your best to make it work they feel that they have the upper hand they don't care they don't care but the day comes when they do care when they want what they had when they wish they had treated you well but sadly for them it is too late you continue to live your life joyfully to be happy it is them who chose that for themselves and very often you should not even talk to these people again it is not that you hate them no we're not saying to hate anybody but they're not your friend because sometimes you will speak to them they will think they will take your kindness they will mistake your kindness for love for romance they will think that you're interested they will be telling people hey you know he called me you know she called me she's interested they will make they will make up stories oh he wants me back oh she wants me back whether you're a man or a woman they will lie they will make up stories I have seen it trying to put you down they will want to tell everybody, oh, this is my ex. 
you're not telling anybody that this is your ex but they're saying it oh this is my ex because you know what they realize now how much of a winner you are they realize now how much of an advancing person you are advancing man or woman they realize that you're living the advancing life they're not they had their chance they could have been on that advancing path they let it go they did not board the train or the plane so they left behind they had their chance these people are not your friend they are not your friend they're mad because you won't take them back they're upset they're angry they're miserable because you don't want to be with them anymore now their eyes are open they realize what they lost they cannot find somebody like you you're the best they will ever they ever had they want you back because they realize how much of the of a grand prize you were you're not taking them back they hate you for that it's like they love you so much they hate you this is not real love they just want what you had to give they're not your friend and they will try to destroy you be careful with such people be careful with these exes i'm not saying in every situation it's bad between exes but in a lot of situations it is so be careful especially sometimes if you're the one who left them they have this grudge against you things are not working out for you for them things are working out for you you with your new partner you and your new partner you are happy they see you post a picture on the internet on instagram on facebook they see wow look where they went look what they're doing they're jealous they have to fake that life you have that life you happy joyful peaceful while they're not they realize finally how great you were they realize finally what they lost they have tried and tried they have gone from date to date to date after date partner after partner searching for what they had it's too late they cannot find it that is their karma as you make your bed so shall you lie whatever you sow is what you will reap it is not me doing it and chosen one it is not you doing it it is them doing their thing they have nobody but themselves to blame they should have appreciated you they should have treated you well they should have respected you they should have said sorry they should have acknowledged you as the royal person king or queen that you are they should have never done what they did they shouldn't have disregarded you like they did they shouldn't have they had the chance now they want to destroy what you have with your new partner you have a new relationship they want to destroy it maybe someday you get married or perhaps you married they want to destroy it hey know your place know your place they need to know their place this is not your place you're on a higher level the path you're walking and the path they're walking the two do not match If the two of you were to get into a relationship, it would be what they call an equally yoke. It cannot work. They need to settle for whatever. Somebody who is a match for them. If, if they want better, they have to become better. They have to become a vibrational match for somebody like you. But because 
they are not a vibrational match for somebody like you you are the best they will ever have until they raise their vibration you are the best they will ever have until they realize that you come in a relationship to give they were only about taking they were only about receiving they want to receive they don't want to give until they are ready to give and to give abundantly to give and give to bring something of value to the table you're the best they will ever have until they work on themselves their personal development they're not finding somebody on your level and sometimes if they wait too late very often they wait too late time has passed they've grown older that is it for them it is what it is still wish them well I mean at the end of the day if they do well great it is not that you want them to suffer no we're just saying how it is you can still wish them well wish them well but you're on this side let them stay on that side but I send you good wishes you must protect yourself as much as you want good for others you must protect yourself because if somebody stabs you in the back as much as you may forgive them you're not going out with them tomorrow are you no you're not you're not bringing them to your house are you no you're not you're protecting yourself feel happy knowing how great you are they can be great too if they choose anyone can be great but they have to choose it congratulations you've chosen greatness you've chosen to advance you've chosen to win victory we are in nature i'm sure you heard the birds singing it's beautiful out here i'm sending you loads of positive energy if you're feeling down boom that's the end of feeling down let's raise the vibration feel great feel joy start to feel grateful for something what is it that you're grateful for that will help you become happy and joyful it may be small give thanks say thank you you will feel better my name is Manchus. one love god bless and all the best